And finally on the program, Governor Babajli de Sanwolu has rewarded the overall, and I mean overall best student of the Lagos State University, Lasu Aminat Yusuf, who graduated with a cumulative grade point average of 5.0 with 10 million naira. Governor Sawolu made this announcement at the State University's 26th convocation and 40th anniversary, where seven personalities were also presented honorary degrees. We have to look at the it's the 26th convocation of the Lagos State University. The academic procession signals the commencement of the ceremony at the Buba Marwa Auditorium. The Lagos State Governor, Babajide Sonwolu, former Governor of the State and former Minister of Works announcing Babatunde Fashola, former Governor of Ikitsi, Kayode Fayemi, among other dignitaries, are present for the confirmation of professorship, honorary doctorate degrees, as well as the 40th anniversary of the university. <music> Vice-Chancellor of Lasso speaks on the university's success story so far. At 40 years, following the establishment of the university in 1983, by an enabling law of Lagos State under the administration of the first civilian governor of the state, Alaji Latif Jakonde. I believe the university has made its mark and has a lot to be grateful for. Regardless of the challenges of the past, LASU has fulfilled the vision of its founding fathers to provide Lagos State with the required human capital helping in the strategic transformation of the industrial capacity of the state in particular and the country in general. It stands to reason that Lasso's contribution to the training of qualified manpower continues to inspire thousands of young graduates who are shaping the industry and adding great value to the nation. Some of those being honored include the former governor of Ikita State, Dr. Kari Defayemi, Former Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babatunde Fashola. His Excellency, Mr. Babatunde Raji Fashola, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, Commander of the Order of the Niger, under the authority of the Senate, is hereby conferred the Doctor of Human Letters, Urban and Rural Community Development and Youth Empowerment, Honoris Consul, today, 22nd day of June, 2023. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. And the monarch of Elegushi, Obasaid Elegushi. <laughs> If you like go uni like now your fault. If you like go Toronto. If you like go uni like as for me, Lasuna my own. No. Greatest last white oh, greatest last white oh. We have to do something before we go. Greatest last white. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Thank you. 
from Professor Lumide to Professor Belu, from Governor Latif Kayade Jakonde to Governor Babadide Sawolu. The dream to create and to keep Lasso alive has been a matter not only of personal sacrifice, but also a lot of service and public duty. And my central message today is that from here, we must rise and cease to be a nation of rights and become a nation of duty. Because we all seem to know our rights, but how many of us know our duties? And for those who have such engines on their phone, please just Google and read Section 24 of the Nigerian Constitution. It imposes duties on each and every one of us. As, an, as a new government settles in at state and federal level, I implore us to familiarize ourselves with our duties and to do our duties. Particularly Section 24B, and I'm not quoting law here, I'm just stating that our most important duty for me at this time is to positive, positively project the good name, the image, and the prestige of our country. And that for me is a duty we must all own. So for me, this honorary doctorate has been awarded for services rendered in defense of human rights, national integration, and security in Africa. Clearly blessed is the political figure who at the end of a period of service is able to wake up and find himself buffeted with such goodwill as Lasso has generously showered on me and my fellow honorees. And I want to pledge before this August gathering that we shall be worthy ambassadors of this great university. Appreciation Awards goes to the former Senior Special Assistant on Sustainable Development goes to the President, Ade Joke Urelukwe Ade Fulire. The first Vice Chancellor of Lasso, late Professor Folabi Olumide, was also honored with Posthumous Appreciation Award. The lady that has broken all of the records of Lasso, Miss. Yusuf Aminat, who had scored a cumulative GPA of 5.0, meaning that in all of our coursework, she had an A in all of our clubs. She deserves all the round of applause. And it was a befitting occasion for the institution as the best graduating student, Aminat Yusuf, got a cash reward from Governor Sonwulu. As a token of our brilliance, I will be giving her a token donation of five million. And the state government will give her additional donation of five million naira. Well done. I'm sure we'll get a lot of people that will still break that record again. We will also be reaching out to Miss Lopez. Feisha or Divine, I'm told she's not here. She will also get a cash donation. She was the best graduating student for the year 2020-2021. And I think she also deserves a round of applause. <laughs> to those of you who have been awarded doctoral honors, I mean, Doctor of Philosophy degree, I applaud you for your resolute determination to go through the academic marathon, which has earned you this higher degree in the academic system. I heartily congratulate you, and I pray that you find success in all your future endeavors. 
I also want to congratulate two outstanding professors of the university who have been conferred with the rank of Distinguished Professor Emeritus. And I rejoice with the eminent personalities that also have been awarded honorary doctorate degrees from various distinct portfolios. And say that your excellent contribution to national developments and well-being of humanity is noticed and has been acknowledged here by LASSO. I want you to rest assured that the university is extremely proud to associate with you and to leverage on your goodwill. I urge you to continue to continue to impact positively on LASSO and the society at large. 10,183 students graduated from 2020-2021 and 2021-2022 academic session. With 282 bargain first class degrees, the university also graduated 1,604 postgraduate students found worthy of character and learning.